Hi guys, it's Danny from Art by Marlene's promo team for 2019. Today I wanted to do a little art journaling page with a bit of a Christmas theme. So I've collected my paints and I've got a few papers here, music sheets, kids books and some atlas sheets. I'm going to stamp on those and collage them into my art journal. So I'm using the Art by Marlene art foamies here. This one's called Star Bright. Got a selection of paints in blues and slate. And I'm just using my gel press and a brayer just to cover those um, art foamies with a bit of paint so I get a nice crisp stamp. It's got a really good coverage by using either the gel plate or the brayer. So I'm just stamping out all the little stars, giving myself a nice selection that I can collage onto the page. I've obviously stamped way too many, but I can use that in other pages, so I'm not too fussed. Just enjoying the process at the moment. I like how the paper text and the atlas pages show through and you get a little bit of that interest through the through the stamps. So you can see in the left hand corner I've actually fussy cut all those stars out and they're ready to go on my page. I'm now using a brayer just to spread those paints around and create my background just sort of randomly splotching that on with a brayer. Just adding the slate now. I've grabbed a bit of texture paste here and I'm going to mix a little bit of the light blue paint in. Mix that really well and I'm using TCW Art by Marlene's Texture, uh, sorry, Positivity Stencil and I'm just putting that texture paste throughout the page just randomly. Once that's nice and dry I'm going to go back in with the same stencil but with black paint this time and a makeup sponge and I'm just doing those little triangles giving a little bit more depth by adding the black into the page and a bit more visual interest and now I'm using a credit card to make some more mark makings and I'm just sort of grouping that over where I've already stenciled in black this creates a little bit more interest and it gives my little hand something to do with the mark making. It sort of creates my own sort of patterns in the background as well. Again, same stencil, but I'm using some gold paint here and I'm just stenciling the gold stars in, or the stars in gold, should I say. I've used a bottle top here and I've splattered also in white just to get some more mark making. So I'm pretty happy with that background and now I'm going to arrange all those fussy cut stars. Well, not all of them. I'm just going to randomly pick a few and arrange them on the page until I'm happy. And then I'll collage those down with some collage glue. Once that's completely dry, I've gone back in with a paint marker and I'm just sort of outlining some of those stars, highlighting some of the stamped images, making some more marks into the background and just doodling over the top of all the stencil work, just creating a little bit more visual interest in the background. So I've stamped out the lady from the stamp set up by Marlene 42. And I've just drawn on some extra ears and some reindeer antlers and I'm just penciling in a few little rosebuds. So I've just gone back in with a fine line pen now and I'm going to watercolour the little lady in using the Art by Marlene watercolours, both sets one and two. Just water activating all the colours.
I think the stamp set's really cute and then adding those little antlers on has given her a little bit more of a Christmas flair. So I'm using similar colours that I've got in the background but I've also included red and green to give it a bit more of a Christmas feel. Just those traditional colours. We're just layering up the colours here in little sections, just layering them until I get the intensity that I want in the colours. I think she's starting to look really cute. Now that it's dry, I'm going in with my Prisma colour pencil, so I'm just selecting a few colours. And I'm just going to go over the top with my pencils and highlight sections of the stamped image. I'm just using the paint pen here to put in some highlights. So we just fussy cut her out. And she's come up really well with those extra pencils over the top of the watercolour. Quite happy with her. And again, I'm just going to collage her straight down onto the page. So I'm just using collage glue here. And next is my quote. So I'm just using the ruler as a little bit of a guide to keep my lettering straight. And I'm just hand drawing the lettering in, extending some of the letters just in this sort of rough, sketchy sort of lettering and I'm just thickening up some of the lines as I go along. And again, I'm just using a paint pen to draw that in. So the quote says, May you never be too grown up to search the skies on Christmas Eve. I thought that was just a really cute quote for this page. My kids have all grown now and they don't really believe in Santa anymore. So Christmas is a little bit different, but it's always nice to have that sort of little bit of wonder and I kind of miss that now. So this page really, all this quote really resonated with me. You can see I'm just thickening up some of the lettering. And then I'm just highlighting with a little bit of a white pen around the letters as well, just to give it a little bit more of a pop on the page. So 
by just taking off the masking tape so I can pop it back into my art journal. And that's it. Very quick page. I hope you enjoyed it. I've added some rhinestones after I finished the page just for a little bit of bling. So please, if you enjoyed the video, like and comment. And I'd love it if you would subscribe to my channel to see more mixed media pages. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.